here's the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from the Welsh Valleys, TK Knox. This woman is the personification of resilience, has suffered multiple torn ACLs in both knees, yet still continues to give it her all in the ring. Yeah, and even shares a little knee brace fashion with none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin. A massive presence in the women's division. And introducing the challenger from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and were the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Raquel Gonzalez, definitely a woman you want in your corner. A true powerhouse of the game physically outmatches everyone she steps into the ring with. Now somebody's about to get punched in the teeth. And introducing the champion from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. Old school, classic bruiser, brutality, catch style wrestling skill. Yeah, years of training has led to singles and tag team success here in WWE. No doubt one of the most dangerous women you'll find in the entire division. A purveyor of discount dental work under the WWE umbrella. She holds the record for most women's Royal Rumble eliminations and women's elimination chamber eliminations. It doesn't matter if she has one opponent or 29 in the ring or in a chamber. Shayna Baszler is always ready to fight. When the mouth guard goes in, the lights go out for her opponent. Looking at the champion, I guarantee there is no doubt in their mind as to who is leaving this match with the title around their waist. Three superstars with one goal in mind, but there can only be one with their hand raised at the end of this triple threat. I've competed in multiple triple threat matches, and the most challenging aspect is making sure you stay in the mix. Make sure you're always just an arm's reach away from any opponent. significantly less than usual, correct? Well, my Steiner math's a little rusty, but that is my general understanding. Yes, you need to be fully aware of your surroundings to keep your chances up. Nasty kick. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. With the wrist lock apply. No, that's too far. German suplex. The challenger eating up some damage. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Tegan Knox has lost any momentum here. And Shayna is on. Submission 
applying a rigorous stretch. Man, she's got a lot of heart. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. The champion into the cover. The pin's broken up. Surviving is beyond X. 
desperation. <laughs> the challenger is in some big trouble. Holding on by a... Shayna Baszler's got her part right where she wants her. Back down. Sits down. This one's over. This one's over. Taps out. And the champ retains. Triple Tets always deliver three times the action, and that one was no exception. Take a look. from all three superstars in this match. And if you ask that superstar right there, she simply wanted it more than the other two tonight. I don't know how true that is, but she certainly made a statement. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the way from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. I, for one, think we should all be thanking Johnny Gargano for showing us the WWE Universe the way. Yeah, if you ask Gargano, he'll tell you his old way brought short-lived success. The current way keeps him and his family on top of sports entertainment. Well, it's true, isn't it? Well, it's worked out very well for Gargano so far. Who are these some people? You? Me and others. Got a mouse in your pocket? Samoa Joe is here to guarantee that a fight will break out. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty, but it'll be decisive. Persistent, some might say grating or obnoxious. Johnny Gargano out here tonight, personality aside. Gargano is without a doubt one of the toughest, most talented superstars in all of WWE. Cole, Gargano's an inspiration to all the Here it comes, guys. Look at this. Oh, my. John turned over the Boston. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. 
Johnny Gargano, of course, one of the most tenacious competitors in all of WWE. He is certainly not an easy foe to put away, Corey. He's not, Cole, but he's also not invincible. You just have to dig down deep and find something that somehow makes you want it more than Gargano. It's improbable, but it's not impossible. Just breaking down the opponent. Enough already. Fantastic awareness from Joe. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Yeah. Lands face first. Really just laying it in. Oh, man. This could be it. Cover. Johnny Gargano forces the shoulder up. Still no end in sight here. Measured knee drop. He went right into that turnbuckle. Gargano! Oh, walked up to the turnbuckle. He's got him down. Is this it? One, two, almost two and a half. He really thought that was it. And the celebration continues. Where? Oh no, where are they going with it? No! Oh! This match is over. This is too much. Yeah, what is this all about? This is ridiculous. Completely uncalled for. Maybe the victory wasn't enough. Oh, into the steps. They wanted to send a message. The future has arrived. A man who bends limbs, joints, and time itself. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the NXT North American Championship. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushida! This is a man who spent many years as the top light heavyweight in Japan and is now one of the finest cruiserweights in WWE. And who can forget the moment that Kushida defeated Santos Escobar to win the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, here is one of the most promising rookies in the history of WWE. And introducing the champion from and San Diego, Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the NXT North American possible. champion. The sky is Dominic. truly the limit for this stuff. Dominic and his dad, Ray, the first ever father and son tag team champions in the history of WWE. Look about this. In his rookie year in WWE, Dominic Mysterio earned victories over the likes of Chad Gable, Robert Roode, even King Corbin.
Dominic makes his dad, Rey Mysterio, proud every single time he competes. I've got a feeling Dominic Mysterio is going to make his dad even prouder here tonight. North American title in the middle of some of the fiercest matches on the black and gold brand. And for good reason, Mike. The North American Championship puts your name on a short list of champions. It also puts a huge target on your back. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hold. Extremely painful hold there. How do you get out of this? Oh, look at that. What a great counter. Well, that's one way to leave the ring, I suppose. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Up high. Kushida was ready there. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. Stomping down. Connects on the kick. Look at this athleticism. Unique takedown. you inflict the better this is all about total destruction nothing is off limits oh the arm taking the blunt of that overhead kick connects the champ getting put on the back foot here starting to build. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Answering back! Oh, my God, what an elbow! Isolating the arm. to neutralize that arm. One step ahead of Kushida there. Kick right to the back of the leg. Part of his body. 
Locked in on the shoulder. And Kushida is leaving no breathing room here. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening fast. Crucial turnaround there keeps Dominic away from more danger. Dominic was getting beaten down, but he could have just changed the pace with that move. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Two. A kick out before three. Somehow, some way. Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. The champ looking worn out. False count anywhere matches are absolutely no joke. And they're showing us that firsthand right now. Continually punishing, man. Kick right to the back of the leg. Taking out the arm, great strategy. Take down. Oh, helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Making that shoulder vulnerable. Quick reflexes from Dominic. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Nice takedown. Arm is trapped. Hoverboard lock is applied. It's in. It's not in. Barrett. He had nowhere to go. He had to give up. Got it. New champion. We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. Here is your winner, and the new NXT North American Champion, Kushida! And a new chapter in this title's legacy begins here. The fashion police are here! All right. Ugh. The following contest is a Tag Team Extreme Rules match and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. At a combined weight of 456 pounds, the team of Tyler Breeze and Fondango, Breezango. They're Fondangoing. <laughs> I love Fondangoing. I'm pretty Come sure on. that doesn't count as a verb. You're such a party pooper. Oh, great. They're friends again? Ah! 
at a combined weight of 478 pounds. They are the NXT Tag Team Champions. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, the Conquistadors. Yeah, I wish the Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens show would be canceled. Well, that's because you've never understood what best friendship's all about. You've never had a friend, let alone a best friend. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. A showdown for the NXT Tag Team Championships here in this treacherous Extreme Rules match with Fundango and Tyler Breeze. And across from them we see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Extreme Rules is always a dangerous match for all participants, but probably none more than for the title holder. You can only hope that the champions coming into this match fully aware of how fluid the situation is, how nothing is out of the realm of possibility. But even with that knowledge, this could very well be the champion's toughest title defense. He'll head to the ring. Hooked up in a pump handle. And a neckbreaker! Good. Man, that was nasty. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. are getting risky. This will not end well. Corey, what's the sound strategy for going into an Extreme Rules match? That's a tough question, Cole. It's hard to plan for something as chaotic as an Extreme Rules match. But you need to remember that pins and submissions have to happen in the ring. So if you're in trouble, the harsh arena floor could actually be a safe haven. Step up in Zagari. Right in the ear. Debilitating attack on the leg. Drop kick right to the knee. to be for the challenger. Part of the territory when you're in an Extreme Rules match, Cole. The arm absorbing the damage. Frank Taco with a nice reversal. Able to get the advantage here. Oof. Oh, right to the kidneys. Ah, that unraveled on Zane. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. He's got it all down. And he's very quick with the I don't know what more this superstar could do to put him away. Boom, nice. He's returning fire. Slides back into the ring. Oh, speed with the ladder. And back. 
back in the ring we go. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's going to hurt. Getting him into the corner. Great escape by Owens. Oh, and the reversal by Tyler Breeze. He's got the answer for that one. The champ taking their share of hits now. And here's another look at what made that match so special. to see it. Get ready for a showcase of reasons why everyone should follow the way. Austin Theory is an incredible physical talent, but not always so bright. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae have been doing a very good job of warping this young man's mind. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Austin Theory has never been happier or more fulfilled. under the guidance of the way. But right now, Theory needs to carve his own path. The Samoan Bulldozer, a truly ruthless competitor. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds. Umaga! We may be about to see a fight or a one-sided mauling. Umaga went undefeated in WWE for over a half a year. Yeah, during that time, Umaga earned victories over the likes of Kane, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. Unmatched savagery inside the ring from bell to bell from Umaga. as intimidating as Umaga is. I've got to agree with you, Cole. Umaga has provided absolutely unmatched brutality in WWE. You know, after arriving here in WWE, Umaga quickly earned himself a vicious reputation. Everyone came to learn that he pulls no punches in the ring, and in fact, even enjoys inflicting pain and suffering on his opponents. Umaga loves nothing more than to conquer his competition by the most grisly means possible. He shows no remorse inside the ring and fights like a man who has gone to war. And that's exactly what makes Umaga a frightening opponent. 
I'm sure we'll see his most bloodthirsty tactics in this one. We'll have a tough time tonight because Austin Theory is like someone made a superstar in a laboratory. His stats are maxed and he's as hungry as it gets. Theory may be young, but he is literally built for success. Uh, Theory's age is the biggest mark for and against him. Thus far, his natural abilities have won out. We'll see if they do again here tonight. A backbreaker now. Oh, and Theory fights back. Oh, right to the kidneys. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, what a kick. Theory sidesteps. Close line. Off with their head. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Driven down face first. Stomping down. Oh, God, that hurt. And Theory found himself a little over his head there. There's Umaga living up to his vicious reputation. STO takedown. Oh, right to the kidneys. Ridiculous standing shooting star. We know Umaga has the physical skills to succeed, but where does he need to be mentally to capture the win tonight? He needs to unleash his rage and utilize his most savage attacks tonight. Luckily for Umaga, being merciless is something he is very good at. Umaga's opponent is serious peril here. Look out! Samoan wrecking ball! Umaga clearly came ready for war. He's out for blood here. He's going for the pin. This could be it. He gets back into the ring. Oh, this is a great movie. Patella drop, brain buster. For the win. Two. A kick out of two. That is just pure instinct at this point. There he goes, right into the corner. Turn things around. Sit in, sit out, power bomb. Theory expected that. Bad predicament right here. What a throw. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Looking for more damage here. Release back Two. suplex. Ouch. Targeting the arm to great effect. Three. Oh, Ooh, that might have just broken something. A completely relentless attack from Umaga. What a merciless assault by Umaga. His rage has been fully unleashed. Scoop slam sets things up. So precise. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. We're targeting the shoulder with the claw. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Escape and a takedown. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on. Got to get back in the ring. Setting foot in the ring now. Boom. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? They'll do a lot of damage, though. A single leg camel clutch oh, and a great no. counter. Three. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. 
Umaga was ready there. He'll do it. Umaga. Oh, that's so inspired. Will that do it for Umaga? Will that do it? One, two. He's still in this fight. He had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? Listen, that should have ended things. And look at his face. At this point, you have to believe he's losing some faith in himself. Quick thinking from Theory. Gonna be interesting kick to the midsection. Oh, look at this! Is there any life left in Umaga? Two count, kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. I can't believe that this whole arena is in shock. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Yeah. Oh, up a blockbuster. Great leaping ability. And hard to tell where Theory is still finding these bursts of offense. Theory could. Austin Theory looking to end this. No, the taxi. Can Theory put it away here? And the ref stops the count. Standing shooting star, Preston Crowder. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Oh! Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Mistake by Umaga. Kick to the abdomen. Oh, back elbow. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Serving his dominance. And the cover for the win. This is it. One, two, three. And that's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some. Here is your winner, Umaga! This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. Well, here's a man who's been called one of the best pure strikers in all of WWE. It's a statement that's hard to argue with. We are looking at one of NXT's most successful competitors ever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Introducing the challenger from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds. skills are right at home here at TakeOver. O'Reilly's won many tag team title matches at TakeOver, including winning the Dusty Classic. Yeah, many TakeOver main events on the resume of Kyle O'Reilly, and I got a strong feeling O'Reilly is planning to steal the show once again here tonight. And introducing the champion, accompanied by Eric Bischoff from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds. He is the NXT Champion, Cesaro! 
There is not a single man, woman, or child in the locker room whose eyes aren't laser focused on this championship match. NXT is the hottest brand in all of sports entertainment, and the NXT championship is on fire. Whoa, wait a minute. There's children in the locker room? Relax, Santa. Of course there are. Like I said, NXT is the hottest brand in all of sports entertainment, no matter how old you are. Social media buzzing as it always does when this competitor defends his title. This is going to be good. Defended all across the globe on sold-out takeovers. This NXT title has a lot of prestige. at this table who's won championship gold in NXT. Let me stress how coveted the NXT title can be. International and independent stars alike dream of competing for it. Well said, Corey. Yeah, if they gave out championships for commentary, I'd probably win that too. No doubt. What about me? What about you? Reversal from Cesaro. Kyle avoids that one. Kyle gets reversed. We talk so much about the power of Cesaro and the dynamic athleticism for someone of his size, but what about stamina of the Swiss cyborg? Back upon the middle rope. Oh, a splash. Nah, look at this. Target in the arm. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Crippling attack on the knee. Thing working against Co cover by the champ. One, two, no, kicks out. That was a long two count there. He manages to escape it. Ooh, sharp kick. Striking at will. Counters that. O'Reilly was ready there. with the counter. Double under hook. Get a power ball. Up across the shoulders. Round and round and round we go. Here's a pin for the title. Let's take another look at these guys in action. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it...